in a hand basket. Emily Kyle was driving in and saw that, a little bit of snow-covered roads, but it's okay. It's that time of year. We're getting toward the holiday. That's right. And so many of us are, are planning what we're going to bring. Um, and so you've got some great ideas for some yes. healthy ways. Some healthier options. Yeah, healthy yes. tips. Yeah. So have you jumped on the cauliflower bandwagon yet? I have tried a little you bit of it. I'm they curious. Make bread out of cauliflower. Yeah. I mean, they make pizza just about crust? everything. Everything. I've seen pizza crust made out of cauliflower. Which is great for our diabetics yeah. because we want to naturally reduce our carbohydrate intake so we can eat more and yeah. enjoy more of our meals and not feel terrible afterwards yeah. either. Mm -hmm. So I've tried the cauliflower mashed potatoes. Okay. They are so good. Okay. I was so surprised that the consistency is very similar to that of mashed potatoes because I was like, I don't know if yeah. these are going to be quite right. So basically, what I loved is I found in the freezer section frozen cauliflower florets. Ah, okay. And I was like, that is genius because it takes a long time to cut up a cauliflower. Right. And it takes it's more expensive to get a fresh one so the frozen worked perfect I just steamed it and then you just either mix it with a beater or an immersion blender just like you would mashed potatoes put the same thing in that you would as your traditional mashed potatoes I put butter salt and pepper in this great way to cut your carbohydrates add in a little bit more nutrients still super delicious which is what you advise to your patients who have diabetes is absolutely. look get more vegetables in your diet absolutely regardless i mean that's the whole key and so this is a great way to do it this is a great way to do it without feeling like you're missing out on something especially at thanksgiving you're not going to want to sit there and not eat mashed potatoes right yeah i know so there's such a part of of everyone's a lot right, of people's a lot of people's tradition right and i'm potatoes. telling you these are a great alternative I'll try these try them okay. and so. For anybody who is preparing something to bring with them, it's a lot easier to bring a dish that you know you can have. So if you bring this to go along with the mashed potatoes, might, mm. most people might not even know that they're not mashed potatoes. It tastes really good. Doesn't it taste really good? The consistency. I is, wouldn't miss a mashed potato if I just had this. It really, I was wouldn't very, very pleasantly surprised. And that brings us to if you're being more thoughtful at dinner, leaves a little room for a sweet treat later right. on. Because who is going to not eat dessert on Thanksgiving? So this is an awesome recipe from the American Diabetes Association their carrot whoopie pies and they are really good so the great part is they're made with two whole cups of shredded carrots wow so it does reduce your carbohydrate intake there's only a cup of whole wheat flour and a cup of oatmeal so both high quality carbohydrates in the middle is a maple cream cheese frosting so of course it's a little decadent delicious but it's also portion controlled right there for you so it's a great option to bring along everyone's gonna love it regardless they're diabetic or not you don't have to add um, a lot of oil or anything to it because the because the we carrots. actually use applesauce applesauce that's applesauce. right i was trying to figure out what yes. it is and it really makes it really light moist and fluffy which who would know it's applesauce and carrots and no, whole wheat gonna, flour if you, you like know? carrot cake would you like this oh you would love it okay love, love, so it's a similar it. consistency similar consistency and again the carrots are reducing those carbohydrates right. where you would typically be using flour ah. and it gets more nutrients in there as well you see that bright orange color you're adding vitamins and minerals in there so it's a super simple swap that you can make it sounds like it all adds up doesn't it like every yes. little thing you yes. do can really add up to a big change down the Absolutely. road. Absolutely, and I always tell my clients when we're working together, take it one meal at a time, one food item at a time, that's all you can do. That's all you can do. And again, approaching Thanksgiving with a mindset of enjoy your meal, don't be overstuffed, don't make yourself sick, really try and enjoy the food that you have, savor the flavor, and then tomorrow's just another day. Yeah, you know? exactly. It, it don't is. get so caught up in that one meal. One meal. It's one meal. It's one meal. It's one meal. Try one to day. have something maybe different, something new, a little healthy um, to make a change, but not, That's you know, it. go overboard. But thank it. you so much. Thank Where can we so find much. these recipes? You can get the whoopie pies from the American Diabetes Association. Um, I should put a recipe up for the cauliflower. It's just cauliflower, butter, salt, and pepper. It's That's easy. It. It's easy. No one really will miss the mashed potatoes oh, when you really serve it this really, way. really, really good. Easy. Weather, traffic, and local headlines coming up next. Thanks, Emily.